Hey guys and welcome to a new feature video of Ventus. Today I want to show you a new node that we will ship to you in our new version of Ventus, which is the multi-switch node. You can see it over here. It has uh, one main input, which is the index. You can add new outputs, which means you have to select a type, for example, singles, and you can add more inputs to it. So when you now put in some example values, uh, you will always get the one in the output that you chose via the index, as you can see down here. This is the main feature of the multi-switch, but it has several other operations for each of the types. For example, you can also always choose the last changed, which may be come in handy in many situations. Um, it has several other features like sum, minimum, maximum and average as well. So you can also let the multi-switcher calculate the average output. For different variable types, it has different operations. For example, for booleans, you can check if all are on, off, any is on, or single is on, and so on. And you will get an according output. Another way to use the multi-switch node is using it as a backup system for textures. So we can add an, a texture input, change the operation to first valid, and add to texture loader nodes. The first one would be the user input, for example, and the second one would be a backup file. So always when you have a user input or you want to access a network resource, you can't be sure if this really results in a valid texture on, in the runtime. You can bind the multi-switcher's input to the coding textures and when we now for example reset the file of the user input texture it won't pass any texture to the multi-switch and therefore is not valid but the multi-switcher recognizes it and instead of passing the first texture of the user input it will pass the backup texture so this is it about the multi-switch node I hope you can think of several use cases where it comes in handy for you with its sum, minimum, maximum, average operations or the last changed operation. And yeah, that's it. I hope I will see you next time. Until then, bye.